One day, Franz Kafka, a 40-year-old man who never married and had no children, walked through a park in Berlin, where he met a girl who was crying because she had lost her favorite doll. She and Kafka searched for the doll unsuccessfully. Kafka told her to meet him the next day and they would come back to look for the doll. The next day, when they had not yet found the doll, Kafka gave the girl a letter written by the doll saying, Please don't cry. I took a trip to see the world. I will write to you about my adventures. Thus began a story which continued until the end of Kafka's life. During these meetings, Kafka read the letters of the doll, carefully written with adventures and conversations that the girl found adorable. Finally, Kafka bought a doll and gave it to the little girl and told her it had finally returned to Berlin. It doesn't look like my doll at all, said the girl. Kafka handed her another letter in which the doll wrote, My travels have changed me. The little girl hugged the new doll and happily took it home. A year later, Kafka died. Many years later, the now adult girl found a letter inside the doll. In the tiny letter signed by Kafka, it was written, Everything you love will probably be lost. But in the end, love will return in another way. Isn't it wonderful how some people will seek to do anything to make another person happy? Sometimes we may not even recognize the love around us that others try to leave. Every person you come in contact with all day long presents a chance for you to be happy. Let us be meek, merciful, peace-loving and share our happiness in Jesus with others. Do something that makes someone else happy today. After all, pursuing happiness for ourselves means helping someone else find happiness, isn't it?